Wow. Welcome back to the Hope Mobile and to the first ever The Virgin Voyage <laughs> of Stories from the Hope Mobile. First person to show up in the Hope Mobile. Introduce yourself, brah. I'm Dave Jenkins. I'm so glad you uh, you chose to come out, man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is great. And we have Jimmy here. Yep. And I travel with him, leave him in here all the time. So he joins us. And Dave came out, stepped out on a limb and is the first person to join me in the Hope Mobile just yeah. for a chit chat. Two big reasons why I'm doing it sitting here and here. So your struggles, dude. I know you've had struggles. I know you uh, you you dealt with your own demons. But I thought I thought the drinking and all that shit would make me forget and shit. And you know, it's 20 years later that my dad died, and I still think about him every day. And nothing's easier. It didn't make shit easier in my life. It made it worse. Yeah, yeah. A huge difference to what I was back then to what I am now. Yeah. I'm sober for almost eight years in September, and. It's awesome, man. Yeah, it's great, man. And I, I put this out there, too. A lot of it, you know, because a lot of people say you're the only one that can do it. And that's true to an extent. But if you have the right people surrounding you, my wife, my kids, my boy right here. Yeah. Um, it helps tremendously to keep on track. Huge. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I grew up rough. I grew up in low income and rolling hills in Sanatoga. Yeah, I started drinking when I was like 13, 14, smoking weed this, around the same age, yeah. about 14, but only here and there. And then, you know, I got into high school and around people, started smoking a lot more weed. Never really got into the drinking thing or much of anything else until my dad died. How old were you when he passed? 20, yeah, that was my downfall. I mean, I love my friends and shit, but I was around people that, not that they didn't love me, it was just we were, I mean, I would say we were bad for each other in yeah. a sense. After my pop died, I started drinking a lot. That's when I first started smoking cigarettes and cocaine. And yeah, it just all stumbled from there yeah. downhill. I don't blame anyone but myself. I was 20 years old. I was an adult. I knew what I was doing. I knew right from wrong. A lot of people want to put the blame on shit like that on other people. and. You know, it's not, it's, that's not true in my, in my sense. There's a lot of young people out there that might be on the verge of going one way or the other. And I tell you, you got to really think about the path you're going to fucking choose, man. The one way is either you're going to fucking jail or you're going to end up dead or the other way. The way that I've been doing now for the last eight years, working hard, making good money, having a life, having a, a wife and kids that are great to me. A, such a different path, man. And that's why I just hope that we can help some of these kids that don't know which way to go. Hopefully they go the right way. Yeah. Because, yeah, the other way is it's a lot of hell, man. Another big thing, too, is if your buddies are feeling you to drink more and do stupid shit, they ain't your buddies. Easy access for kids nowadays yeah. and shit, so it's definitely tough. But you just gotta keep the right head on your shoulder and persevere through all that stupid shit. I'm a big believer in after you're a certain age, you can't be blaming your parents, you can't be blaming other people anymore. You're you're grown. You know right from wrong, you have choices to make, and if you make the wrong one, unfortunately, shit can happen, but I'm, I don't be putting the blame on anyone else. Yeah. my own fault yeah. for what I've chosen to do in my life. Yeah, yeah. But there's another big thing, my grandkids, is another huge reason why I'll stay clean and straight forever. I went up to Kale's place yesterday. Jackson got a bike. Anthony got him a bike. I put him on it. I pushed him. I held on to his. I held on to his shirt. I tried to teach him how to steer. Yeah. He's not pedaling. Uh, it was like it's it's gold. Though. See, that's why it's gold. We're allowed to fucking like. Man. Yep. I was just with. We went to Mandarack Park. Grandpa. Yep. And he has one of them bikes that has the handle. Yeah. That, like in, oh yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. To help him along, and you can steer it. Yeah. And I was, yeah, we were helping him, and yeah, he ah. was loving it. Dude. dude, we did the same thing yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we're blessed, dude. Yeah. We're blessed. You remind me all the time of how blessed I am, and that's why I wanted to do this because you know it's like I call it the Hope Mobile. It's all about hope. Mm -hmm. And I think for me personally, there's, there's, there's days where I struggle, there's days where I feel hopeless, there's mm -hmm. days where I'm like, you know, the Life sunny sucks. skies and I can't see the, I can't see the sun through the clouds and there ain't even a cloud in the damn sky. But that's just life. Yeah. But I always know that it'll come back, man. And we get up 
the next day still clean and sober yeah. and ready for yeah. maybe a different day. Yeah. Yeah. I go through the same thing like today. Yeah. Don't know why, I just wasn't in that great of a mood, so I just came in and kept the business at first. And yep. now, you know, talking to you, and I'm here we are. Now. I am. I know, it's the same that's way. Cool. Like, I mean, but that should happen. That's life, man. Yeah. And not everything's hunky dory in life. Yeah. But this is how you fucking deal with it now. Yeah, man. I used to deal with it. It was the same way you used to deal with it. Yeah. But that technically really wasn't dealing with it. Yeah. It was just prolonging it. Yeah, yeah that's a good in point. In a big sense. Pushing it under yeah, the Yeah, just pushing it back and then, you know, you're still going to have to deal with it eventually. You can drink for 20 fucking years, but the problem's still going to be there. <laughs> like, to me, you know, it can be 10 years from now if this still touches somebody, then we accomplish what we needed to. 100%. Yeah, hundred percent. Another thing too, don't get it twisted. Like I don't look down on people that do drugs and drinking, and it's no. their own choice. That, yes. That's not what I mean. Yeah, I know. like it's just a different. You, you have a different head about yourself when you stop doing it. But yeah, the addiction's tough. There ain't no doubt. About it. I don't look down on nobody that does that shit. It's a, it's a hard fucking life to get out of. Yeah. The thing yeah. that I wanted to say too is counseling. I mean, it might not be for everyone, but. If you can find the right one, it's tr it's a tremendous help. It oh. can be huge. I've, I've been through a couple, and there was one that helped me tremendously, and a couple that didn't do shit for me, because all they cared about was the clock. Yeah. But if you can find the right one, that's another huge thing that can help. Oh, dude, that's a great yeah. point. You know, man, I mean, I, I, I thoroughly, I mean, I've been so open about the therapist that I've been and the therapy and the help that I've gotten from it. I mean, I've, I've mentioned it. I ain't shy about it, but we're, uh, we're doing good work, man. As long as it clicks, man. Yeah. If it helps us, yep. that's all that matters. Yep. The bottom line is if, if you're happy doing it and it's helping you, yep. that's all that, that's all that really matters. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. For me, the big, the big thing with this therapist that I'm, and I, and I told him Friday when we met, we're working we're focusing on me yeah, yeah not me controlling everyone else around me mm -hmm. we're just focusing on me you know what i mean yeah. my relationship with me <clears throat> like my counselor i would have never thought in a million years that i would have walked away from all my boys yeah every one of them yeah. never and still love them to this day always will yeah but we were each other's triggers and whether they want to agree disagree whatever i know what was going on yeah yeah i mean like I was hurting them, they were hurting me, and we didn't even fucking know it. Yeah. But I would have never thought, and he was right, I would have never thought I would have walked away from all my friends, put them all behind me, and that's what I had to do, where I don't think I would be here right now talking to him. Yeah. So I just want to yeah. throw that out there too. The tough guy shit cares about that, man. There ain't nothing wrong with having counseling, there ain't nothing wrong with crying when you need to, having friends to talk to, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Just, like, I don't know, it's a shame too. There's a lot of good people that get lost in this shit, man. Yeah. Like your son, he was a good person. Yep. Yeah, and that's the unfortunate thing. Yeah. Everyone has their flaws in life. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. No one's perfect. Absolutely, man. But, absolutely. You know? Yeah, under everything, we are all good people. Yeah, man. Try I, to be. Good it's, people that's stuck a lot in a bad cycle, cycle man. man. Good people stuck in a bad cycle that you can't get out of yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, it's so true. Yeah. I went from my second DUI to court and the officer's wife went into labor and it saved my entire fucking life. Yeah. Because I would not be here, I wouldn't have met Heather, everything would be different. Now I don't know if I would ever became sober, I can't say that one way or another. I wouldn't have had the tools in my corner to help me out though. Yeah. My whole life would have been different. Yeah. Because my second one, it was the top tier, and I was looking at three to nine months, and I would have lost my job at the Hill School. So yeah. I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't have met Heather. I was like, yeah, you know I mean, like, it, yeah. it changed the whole course of my life. Yeah. Just yeah. one thing. Yeah. It's wild. Like, that's what I mean. Somebody's looking over me. Somebody's doing something. Yeah, man. Because she wanted one of the labor the cop would have showed up. My whole life would be different right now. I wouldn't be sitting here doing this. That one little crossroad, yeah. man. And why most most likely, I would either probably be in jail for getting more DUIs or dead from cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. One or the other. Higher I know we power. didn't get into a lot of that, but I was highly addicted to cocaine for like six years straight. 
Yeah. I was doing it every fucking day. Yeah. And it got gradual when it started. Weekends here and there, a couple nights during the week, and then it became, that's what I did. I yeah. made excuses to get it. Hmm. So, but yeah, it's just wild, man. Like somebody's looking out for us somewhere. Well, what do you say, man? You promise me you'll come back? Oh, definitely, man. You're my buddy. Man. My brother, man. Ah. <laughs> brother from another mother. I love you, kid. Yeah, me too. So, volume one. Volume one. I can't believe we broke the ice. It's crazy, yeah. man. Don't compare your insides to somebody else's outsides because what you see, uh -huh. it ain't ever one yeah. one billionth of the story. That's why I groove on sitting and talking. Yeah. Your and son's thought, memory will always be alive right in here, man, yeah. without a doubt. I know, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate and this guy it. here, like, he, he became like a brother to me real quick. Yeah. So we've only known each other about three and a half years, but I love him to death. Yeah. He's a good dude. I'm yeah. glad he's doing this, and hopefully it can reach some people. That's yeah. my hope. Yeah. But yeah. you're I my appreciate boy, it. man. You're my boy. I appreciate it, kid. Do whatever. Yep, I'll do anything. We'll keep for you, doing man. it to do, do to yeah. do. And we'll we'll see you on the next I'm calling them volumes. Yeah. We'll see you on the next volume. Volume one. Out and we're out. Love you. Touch somebody.